Many of us may enjoy the local county fair for the rides and the delicious food. But for agricultural enthusiasts like 4-H and FFA, the fair is a chance for them to show off their livestock and the different projects they've worked on over the past year. We're here today at the Sebastian County Fairgrounds in Greenwood, Arkansas to talk about county fairs. Now county fairs have been going on in this country since 1811 and they have always been an opportunity for folks to come together to share new technologies or new techniques. Um, it was a place for fellowship where people came together and just enjoyed each other's company. Um, but they've been going on for years and you know it's kind of funny when we think about fairs. A lot of times we think about the rides and we think about the midway. But the, the original fairs were this opportunity for the agricultural community to come together and share all these things that I've talked about. When fair goes on, this will become a beehive of activity and there will be adults and children and, and young people all participating, showing the things that they have spent the year producing or spent the year raising. You know, you've got young people that are raising cows and raising pigs and raising chickens, raising bunnies, and they bring them here and they compete with one another, but get to show what they've done, the responsibility that they've taken, the, uh, the plans that they've made and, and worked out. And so a fair is much more than the games and the midway, it's, it's really a community opportunity um, for people to come together and share those things with each other. Each 4-H member selects a project to work on throughout the, day, throughout the year. Um, they learn quite a bit of technical skills with that project. Um, if they're working with a swine project, they learn the skills that come along with that. But the people we don't really we don't really see or are very aware of the soft skills, the life skills that come with it, um, decision making, um, record keeping, uh, responsibility. Um, all of these skills really follow our kids throughout their lives, and they're easy to transfer to any project, any job they have in the future. I can think of a um, little girl. She was working. Um, on a project and she was breeding rabbits and her, her whole litter died. And it was devastating for her until she decided to um, turn that into a learning opportunity for somebody else. And what she ended up doing to bring and present at the county fair was um, a record keeping of what had happened and pictures of what had happened. And so she turned something that could be devastating into really a learning opportunity for many other uh, young members. So me and my wife for the last 25 years have been on the fair board and we take a week's vacation to work up here at the fairgrounds and uh, there's a lot of volunteering during the year, weekends and stuff that we volunteer. So There's numerous things going from planning for the different uh, areas, so the barns, prepping the barns, making sure they're clean, ready for the animals, uh, the buildings, having them ready, um, set up for the exhibits in the home economics building, uh, cleaning the commercial building to have it ready for all our vendors to come in, be able to set up and have their booths. You know, as my final thought today, I wanted to talk to you about a, a happy memory for me when I was a child, my mother used to read to us. And one of the books that she read to us, and I've actually gone back and read it as an adult, but it was a book by Laura Ingalls Wilder called Farmer Boy. It was a novel about a young man called Almanzo who lived in, near Malone, New York. And one of the chapters in that book was called The County Fair. But I remember mom reading that to us and remember you know, all the, all the details of that story. Almanzo had grown a giant pumpkin that he'd grown by feeding it with milk. And his mom and his sisters, they all entered things and they talked about all the animals they saw. But I have happy, happy memories and, and I guess nostalgic thoughts about the county fair. But I'd like to encourage you, support a county fair. Go see the animals, go support the kids. County fairs are still a wonderful addition to 
our sense of community and our sense of where we came from. So take advantage of a county fair.